What's good, YouTube? It's your boy Vontae the first. We back again with another video. You already know, man, I did my reaction review to Tokyo Avengers Chapter 74, which is where the anime left off at. Um, and yeah, I told y'all I was going to be doing more videos with this. It's going to be kind of constant. Y'all going to see me upload quite a bit, about two reactions in a video per video. So it might be like four videos a week. So that's what, eight? Might be uh three videos a week who knows if i have more time i could probably do more because i do really want to catch up with the rest of the world with tokyo revengers or at least you know get in when like it probably ended and i could like i would just be like maybe three weeks behind or a week or whatever you know what i'm saying not too far back that's what i'm trying to say i want to finish closer with everybody else but yeah man this series is crazy man kaza tora kaza tora that was crazy. Yeah, me and Takamichi both dumbfounded because we thought that it was like Baji or something. He looked dead ass like Baji. And then I thought about him, like, hmm, I think that's like a good artistic like choice from the mangaka before I actually um turned the page and seeing that it was actually Kazutora. But I started to think it was Kazutora. I'm like, hmm, I think that would make sense for uh, the author to do that. You know what I'm saying? To mislead us like that. I mean, it wasn't really misleading because we know Baji's dead, but like just you know who else will look similar to him then you know that makes the most sense at that point but um yeah so uh we seen that or we found out that she for you actually came to pick him up after he got released from prison and all that he told him all about the toma situation and how he was basically doing stuff on his own which is interesting because takamichi wasn't there to help him out for all those years which is very interesting that's something i really want to see like what happened at that point i mean i know takamichi is going to go back to the past and change things so that it don't end up like that but i would really like to know how he was acting during that time or like you know what i'm saying but um that's crazy so kazutora is going to try to you know make up for all the shit he did you know he he has he has to because he broke relationships friendships um literally he was the reason why two people died you know so ultimately so yeah um i'm i'm excited against his next chapter or these next two chapters because there's gonna be two chapters in this video but uh yeah that's all i got for the recap so let's get into this next chapter chapter 75 toku revengers kazutora kun my memory is fuzzy so i might ask you some weird stuff why did toman end up this way yep 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 damn takamichi asked that a lot i mean duh i mean he's a time traveler duh you know but at the same time this is interesting that I don't know like to me i mean obviously it's very straightforward and like he's literally asking because he's not he's not in the know like everybody else is because he doesn't know what happened but i find it kind of interesting because it's like i feel like it's going to end up being like takamichi's like fault or like not necessarily fault but i feel like everything in the end is going to fall in his hands and what i mean by that is that like I mean, we quite literally are seeing him seeing him changing certain things. But at the same time, I feel like there might be some things that he changes so much that like if something goes wrong, he might end up be the he might end up being the person to blame in the future at some point. You know what I'm saying? Because I mean he's literally changing a lot of you know futures and shit. So I wonder if he's gonna actually do something that might not be good. And remember what I said before too. The fact that he met Mikey first, like what if he met uh kisaki first what if that would have helped a lot better who knows that's something I, I, I said in one of the videos first videos i did but who knows you know but i'm gonna continue it was mikey what the fuck <laughs> i swear every time i read this well this is the second time i read this but literally in both chapters i'll start talking about like what i'm thinking about like for the next thing or what happened and then next you know once i just scroll down a little bit then the, whatever i was already kind of you know, just speculating about it's already answered, essentially. <laughs> um, wow. Cause Mikey, I'm about to say, where the hell Kazutori get this car? That boy, you know, that looks like a nice car. Where'd you get this from? I, shit, you ain't stealing again, are you? <laughs> nah, I wonder what he doing though. You know, say how you get the money, man. <laughs> it was Mikey. Cause I believe he, this is 12 years in the future, but I think uh, Kazutori, he, um, his time was only 10 years, I believe. I think it was only 10 years. Yeah, I don't, yeah, I think it was only 10 years, so um, it makes sense that he's out. But I wonder what he was doing between those times, too. Mikey has completely changed. In the chapter title, called Let One Down. He completely changed. Wow. I wonder what happened. I mean, Kisaki makes the most sense, but damn. Mikey completely changed? Is it really Mikey's fault, or is it not Mikey's fault? 
I don't know. Tomon changed because Mikey changed. That can't be. Someone else must have been hiding it or uh, behind it. Wasn't it just Kisaki pulling the strings? While Kisaki was holding you captive, Pachin and Payon were killed. Whoa! Dog! Just like that in that instance? You know what? That does make sense though. Because remember, um, like when I was watching the episode, I remember in the table, you know, when all the top uh, echelon was at the table, um, it was some new people in the group. And they said that like, uh, I forgot what they said. They said like, y'all always like, um, depending on Mikey, you know, you old timers, this and that. And then Pachin, he got mad and stuff. You know, how Pachin, you know how Payon is. Payon always on Pachin's dick, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> He's always following them everywhere. But that's one thing. So those two are literally, you know, some of the older members. Uh, the guy with the blue hair with the scar on his mouth. I know he was a member of Toma, but I wonder if he was, I guess now that I think about it, he probably was a, a more recent member. Like in the past, he wasn't like, I mean, we know that he wasn't there from the beginning. That's, put it like that. We know that. But Payon, of course, you know, he's with Pachin, so it makes sense for him. But um, yeah, I just noticed nobody else at that table because uh, uh, Mitsuya, he wasn't there. They said that he was gone. I believe they said that. So he wasn't there. Of course, Mikey wasn't there. Draken ain't there. That boy in fucking on death row. Um, and obviously, Baji's dead. Kazutora just got out of prison, so he wasn't in there. So yeah, literally, wow. That makes a lot of sense now. Wow. Mikey ordered it, of course. Mikey ordered it, of course. Mitsuya went missing several months ago. Mikey has started purging the old members of Tomon. What the fuck? He doesn't even trust his friends anymore. He's not a delinquent anymore. What the fuck? That's that's a complete 180 from Mikey. A complete 180, because he was literally saying that he that this is not the 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 world he wanted. I'm assuming it still has to be because of Draken somehow, you know, because Draken was on death row and all that. I wonder when did Mikey change? I wonder if it was when they were like teens or did it kind of change a little bit some years later? Because Mitsuya is missing, he said. I wonder where Mitsuya is. I hope he's still alive and, you know what I'm saying? I want to see where, where um, you know, his little story had went to. Because so far we know pretty much everybody from, like, the main members of Token Manjin are dead. Half of them are dead. And one is on death row. So it's literally only Kazutora, Mikey, and I guess Mitsuya. They're literally the only ones that are still alive. Wow, that's interesting. That's very interesting. Oh, that's no, that's a crazy reveal. Mikey ordered them there. Mm, I don't know about that. That seems weird. Mikey's gone completely evil. Oh, I love this panel right here, though. It's showing Kazutora's face, and then the dark side of on Kazutora, like the shading on the side, is Mikey's back, like showing Mikey's clothes. I like that's a really nice panel. Already is my, my favorite panel. And like I said, I only read two chapters. Just like I said, the other chapter, I'm like, man, that's already one of my favorite chapters because of <laughs> Kazutora. Man, this is crazy. It's reveal after reveal, man. Man, anime only, they ain't ready for that first episode of Tokyo Revengers. That's going to be crazy for season two. That's going to be crazy. What is up with Mikey? What happened? Who who did this to him? Like, I don't... Because the Draken situation, I can see that. But, like, I feel like it's a lot deeper than that. Because, I don't know, it's weird. Things just keep happening. Just keep going bad. I'm one of the people who made them change. Hmm... But anyway, Mikey right now is a real dangerous guy. I want to talk to him face to face. Tell him he's got to get away from those guys. Which guys? And I'm assuming it's probably the new members. But I like that Kazutori said he's one of the ones that made him change. Because, I mean, yeah, his fucking brother, he killed his brother. And remember, when we seen the first, that one timeline where he actually beat Kazutori to death, I believe, um, after he killed Baji, you know, he killed him. He was the one that, you know, he made him go mad. But at the same, it's so weird because uh, uh, Mikey actually said that, you know, he forgives him pretty much when he was, you know what I'm saying? He said he, he sent the message out to Drake and to tell him that he forgives him or whatever. But at the same time, he could it could have been a facade. I don't know. This is really interesting. I can't blame him, though, but like, why would you want to let him back and do all this stuff? Or maybe it's like subconsciously made him like how Kazutora is saying it subconsciously made Mikey like more dark, essentially. And then that's when it like, um, 
you know, it, you know what I'm saying? Like it, it made him, if it made him evil, essentially, like subconsciously, it made him like get, I don't know, something about it. I think just seeing people dying around him is one of the reasons why he started to get dark anyway. And Kazutora was literally the reason for two of those, his fucking brother, somebody that he can look at as a brother in Baji. And then of course, yeah, that, it makes sense though. I'm really liking Kazutora's character. Am I really, is he really gonna be one of my favorites? That's kind of crazy. <laughs> Kisaki's violence, money from the, wait. Kasaki's violence, money from the black dragon. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. He, whoever these guys are, I believe this one is the one that used to be in Tokyo Manjin though. The one that was one of the uh, squad leaders or whatever, captains. He definitely was there. This guy with this like birthmark or, or or burn mark or something. I don't know if I've seen him before. I don't think so. And then the other guy right there, I don't think I, actually, are those the, the brothers? Interesting, they might be the, the brothers. Cause that guy's hair looks, it's, it looks similar to like that. Remember the brothers, the, the one with the two braids, he was kind of tall. And then the other one with the glasses, like the one with the glasses, his hair looks similar. It looks like it's the same kind of style. And then the other one made, I don't know if that is his brother or not, but he, he does look tall. So it could be him. I don't know. We'll see. But it seemed like it. Damn, they look like, they crazy though. They got some top, that boy Kisaki got some top brass men. That's crazy. You know something interesting too that I'm noticing? And this video is going to be kind of long because I keep, you know, stopping. Especially, in, I'm only on chapter one. <laughs> but, uh, yeah. I mean, the, the first chapter of the video. But, yeah. Um, something I find interesting is that they were a part of a group called the Black Dragons. But, I, and now that I think about it, isn't Draken's tattoo literally a Black Dragon? I wonder if that's some kind of significance. Because Draken, he has a black dragon tattoo. I don't know if it's literally the same as that, but it looks like it could be. I wonder if he like maybe idolized a group when he was growing up or something. They were just probably a part of that group, and he had got that. I don't know. Or that that's something I'm just gonna keep note. There's a few things I gotta keep note. That one uh, note of is that, and um, there's something else I wanted to keep note of. Um, Fuck, what was it? Um, damn, I said it earlier in the video. I forgot, though. What was it about? I, I, I'll, I'll probably try to think about it later. <laughs> Mikey would never regain himself. Hmm. Help me out, Takamichi. This time, I want to help Mikey. I want to save Manjiro Sano. I like that he referred to him. Yeah, he said his whole name. Mikey's left arm, the ex-Black Dragons. My connection with them goes way back. Connection. The X Black Dragons are based on the 11th generation of the Black Dragons. Okay, they're the biker game I fought with, with before Toma was from. Okay, I I think I remember them saying that that group that gang's name because remember Kazutora was actually fighting with them and then that's how Toma got created because he lived in the neighborhood basically or like around their turf and they were like you know what I'm saying fighting or bullying them or whatever. Okay. So he has connections to them. Interesting. That's that's hey, that's that's clutch that he has connections with them. So well, yeah. They do they do shakedowns and murders. They'll do anything for money. The vast amounts of wealth they produce was one of the things that sent Mikey off the deep end. I was able to find their hidden bank account thanks to my connections. I cut off the cash flow and put it into to all. Oh, whoa. Huh. You better be careful, Gazator. And the one who was supposed to handle Kisaki's right arm was Shifuyu. Wow. Mm. Mm. Shifuyu was killed because he backed Kisaki into a corner. Uh, how the hell did he corner a guy like Kisaki? One day a detective came to us saying he was the younger brother of a woman Kisaki had killed. Whoa, 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 whoa. So shit. Wow, so Naruto was working with Shifuyu and, well, and Kazutora. Wow. 
So either Naruto must have lo also lost faith in Takamichi or Takamichi wasn't doing nothing with him as well. Because Takamichi, or it, it's either he lost faith in him or actually no, I, hmm, maybe Takamichi did introduce Naruto to Shifuyu to tell him the whole situation. And then that's when they kind of linked up and then Takamichi, something happened with him or maybe Takamichi started to fall off. So then Naruto kind of found Shifuyu and tried to do so something differently. Interesting. I want revenge. That's what Naruto said. I want revenge. What the hell? This is weird. Naruto, huh? Chifuyu and that detective were connected? Yeah, the killing of Hinata Tachibana was done on Kisaki's orders. You remember that, don't you? A Toma member, Asushi Sendo, crashed his car into the, yeah, uh, going crashed his car into, um, into the one Hinata Tachibana was inside of. They both died in the huge fire that resulted. It was burned into my eyes. Kisaki had an alibi that that day Kisaki was in a meeting with you admins, huh? A meeting with us. That means in this timeline, I wasn't there when Hina and Akon died? Huh. But Shifuyu found proof. Proof that Kisaki had given the order. Shifuyu was just one step away from getting Kisaki where he wanted him. He was so close, but it was Shifuyu's fault that Kisaki got away. Wow. Hmm. For some reason, he kept that proof hidden to his dying moment. Huh? Get out, Takamichi. Someone in this alley wants to meet with you. With me? Probably uh, Naoto. Who wants to meet with me? Naoto. Yep, I knew it. <laughs> And he's happy to see him. And yeah, Naruto don't look happy. He looks soon. Uh, finally gets I finally get to see him. I've been waiting for you, Takamichi kun. Huh? Oh shit, he got arrested. Takamichi Hanagaki as of 7.38 a.m. You're under arrest. I'm sorry, Hanamiya kun. You bastard. Arre what the f yo, I ain't gonna lie. I'm not gonna do a second. <laughs> I'm not going to do a second video in this video. I might just split it up. So, I mean, I'm still going to be here. So you probably, you guys are still going to see this two videos in one day. This is not going to be all in one video. I'm going to split them, but I'm going to drop them in the same day. Cause I don't want to do too much for this video. Or just, Cause I don't want to edit nothing out. It was a really good uh, reaction to it. What the fuck? There's so much plot twists in this one chapter alone, man. Wow. Anime only is gonna be like, what the fuck? This is good. This is really good. It turns up like crazy. Yo, but okay, this is something that I know a lot of people and myself included uh, thought like, what if like Takamichi went in too deep with the gang and then he does certain crimes and stuff and then in the future it messes up his connection with Naruto. But at the same time though, Naruto, I mean like he always, he's always aware when Takamichi does time travel back and he like, He's the only one that can actually know all this stuff. But at the same time though, maybe he's, uh, um, Naruto is kind of forced to arrest him. Cause I think it's kind of misleading and making, us, making it seem like Naruto is really on Takamichi's ass, which he still could be. But um, I feel that he's kind of like forced to do this in order to keep his position as a detective. But I think he's still on Takamichi's ass. Like you gotta chill out a little bit at least, man. Wow. Too bad for you, Takamichi. Couldn't. Naruto, why? Wow. Wait, was that? Yeah, that was the end of the chapter. Okay. Well, uh, I'm going to end this video here. I don't really have too much to talk about. I'll talk about all throughout that chapter, but you guys will probably see more in the next video. I might uh, refer to this chapter as well. But yeah, man, um, just stay tuned for the next one because it's literally going to come in right after. I'm going to make sure that both of these drop pretty much at the same time. So. Yeah, but yeah, I'll see you guys all in the next video and peace.